Inserting images in Adobe InDesign CS6. We have the Adobe InDesign application open here. There are many ways to insert images in InDesign. We'll see in this tutorial how to insert images and working with images in Adobe InDesign. Let's go to File, click on Browse in Bridge, or else you could press Alt or Control O. So we have got the Adobe Bridge opened up here. What we can see here is an application of the Adobe Bridge and some images in the application. Just choose an image, go to File and Place. Here we could place the image on not only InDesign but others like Photoshop or Illustrator etc. However, we'll choose InDesign. So the image comes to InDesign. You can see the image is attached with the mouse pointer. There are two ways to place the image here. You can either double click on here. In this case, you will get the actual size of the image. Let's go back to the previous stage by pressing Ctrl Z. Now the other way of placing the image here is by dragging and selecting an area for the image where the image will be proportionally placed. Now avoiding Adobe Bridge, you could also insert an image by going to File and Place or pressing Ctrl D would give you the box to choose an image from its location. Select the image and click Open. Similarly, we can place the image by double clicking or dragging and placing. Let's see another way of inserting an image. Let's grab the shape tool, keeping the cursor point on the page, double click. We have the dialog box asking for the width and height of the rectangle. Let's write 3.5 inches for the width and 2 inches for the height. You can see it converts the unit's measurement to Pika. Basically, 3.5 inches width and 2 inches height is a standard measurement for a business card or visiting cards. We could choose the rectangle of any measurement of course and it will convert the unit to Pika always. Now we want to insert an image within this shape. There are few ways of doing that so. Have the shape selected. Like before we have seen, go to File and Browse in Bridge. Choose an image and then File and Place in InDesign. The image is placed within the shape. Obviously, we can see the image did not get placed according to the proportion of the rectangle shape. Now if we click Fill Frame Proportionally or Fit Content Proportionally or Fit Content to Frame from the control panel, then the image is proportionally placed within the shape. Now if you want the rectangle shape to get to the shape of the image size, then you have the option to do that. First go to previous stage by pressing Ctrl Z. Now click fill frame to content. So you have the image and your shape gets to size of the image. Now as you have the option to drag around the image, if you want the image to sit in the center point, just click on the center content option and then choose the Fill Frame Proportionally option. You have the image placed to the center. So in this tutorial, we get to see different ways of inserting images to InDesign. Thank you.